Hey kids, we're talking about who Jesus is. Did you know that Jesus is God's son? Did you know that Jesus is God and God is Jesus? It's true. And we're learning that the only way to have a relationship with God is through having a friendship with Jesus. Because Jesus is the only way to have a relationship with God. That's because Jesus died on the cross to forgive us of our sins. So today we're learning Jesus is the way. Let's say that together. Jesus is the way. Sometimes we go through things in life that are hard. Like we have a friend who doesn't want to be friends anymore. Or we lose someone we love. Maybe we get really sick. In those moments, we can feel all alone. But when we trust that Jesus is with us, He is the way and He will help us. There's a true story in the Bible about how Jesus told His closest friends, His disciples, about how He is the only way to have a right relationship with God. We can read this story in John 14 verses 6 through 14. That's in the New Testament of the Bible, the time when Jesus was alive. Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you had really known me, you would know who my Father is. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Jesus was telling his disciples that because they had seen Jesus in person, they had seen God. Because Jesus is God and God is Jesus. He told them that no one can have a good relationship except through him. That's because Jesus died on the cross to forgive us of our sins. Let's keep reading. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Philip is asking Jesus to show them God, but we know that Jesus is who? Jesus is God. Jesus replied, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and yet you still don't know who I am? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So why are you asking me to show him to you? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak are not my own, but my Father who lives in me and does his work through me. Just believe that I am in the Father or the Father is in me. Or at least believe because of the work you have seen me do. Jesus told Philip that he has seen God because he has seen him. We can trust that Jesus is who he says he is. Jesus is a son of God and he is God too. We have to believe that. Jesus died on the cross to forgive us of all the bad things that we have done. Then Jesus told Philip something we should all do too. You can ask for anything in my name and I will do it so that the son can bring glory to the father. Yes, ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. He told Philip that he can ask for anything. How do we talk to God and ask him for things? We pray. So Jesus is telling him that to have a good friendship with God, he should pray and ask for God's help and for the things we need in life. Remember, Jesus is the way. Let's say that together. Jesus is the way. Jesus loves us so much that he was willing to die on the cross to forgive us of all the bad things we do. And God loves us so much that he was willing to let his son, Jesus, die for us. We know that the only way we can have a good friendship with God is by knowing Jesus and trusting Him. We can know Jesus by asking Him to be the leader of our lives. And when we do that, He changes us. Then we can talk to Him all the time and ask Him for help when we need it. We can be more and more like Jesus. We can show His love to everyone. We can be kind. We can help others. Jesus does that for us and we can do that for others. Remember, Jesus is the way. Let's say that together. Jesus is the way. And maybe you want to make God the leader of your life. You can do that right now with me as we pray. Put your hands together, bow your heads, and pray with me. Jesus, thank you for saving me. I need your help and want you to show me the way. Be my leader and teach me to be more and more like you every day. In Jesus' name, amen. If you made the decision to make Jesus the leader of your life, tell the leader. And remember, Jesus is the way. Let's practice this month's memory verse together. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans 12, 2. Let's say it again. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans 12, 2.